Queen's Gambit declined, 3.nf3 nf64 e3 c6. Wild a chaotic game where both players had many chances to win. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players threw away some big opportunities in the middle game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. The d4 pawn is safeguarded and the knight advances toward the center with nf3. nf6 controls the e4 square and defends the d5 pawn. c4 gains space on the queen's side, prepares to develop the knight to c3, and invites black to give up control of the e4 square after dx c4. When c6 is played, the d5 pawn is supported and the queen can grow on the queen's side. e3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop and queen to develop. The d5 pawn is supported by e6 and the bishop on the dark squares can advance. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. It is the last book move. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This disregards an improved method of recovering a component. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. That's good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is quite good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. There is a more effective technique to advance a rook from its beginning square than this. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to make a passed pawn. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This misses an opportunity to pin a knight. This permits the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a knight. It is a miss. This misses a chance to strengthen a knight's defense by adding a defender. It is incorrect. Recaptures. It is ideal. This poses a knight winning threat. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to win a knight. It is a great move. Backs off. This poses a knight winning threat. It is ideal. This leads to losing a knight. There was only one good move there. This ignores an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a blunder. That gets you a knight. It is a wise decision. A pawn is therefore exposed to being captured. It is incorrect. This seizes a helpless pawn. It is ideal. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. It is quite good. 
it was a free pawn there. It is ideal. The checking bishop is moved away in this move. It is quite good. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is ideal. Thus, a forced checkmate is possible. It is incorrect. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. This avoids the queen's check. It's compelled. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This is a missed chance to win a queen. It is incorrect. This buys time by putting a bishop in danger and getting it to flee. That's good. This protects the bishop who was attacked. It is ideal. This prevents a queen on the other side from checking. It is quite good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. While not the greatest course of action, this is an intriguing alternative. It is quite good. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is quite good. This is the way to win a bishop. This threatens to fork pieces. It is excellent. This strikes a rival rook. It is quite good. This makes winning a queen a threat. It is ideal. A queen is lost as a result. It is incorrect. That queen was unchained. It is ideal. This misses a great but hard to find move. This allows the opponent to capture the checking queen. It is an inaccuracy. Backs off. It's compelled. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This passes up the chance of advance a passed pawn through promotion. It is incorrect. This misses an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. This allows the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a mistake. This misses an opportunity to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This exposes a bishop attack. It is ideal. This leaves a bishop without defenders. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to move a bishop to safety. It is a blunder. This misses a chance to obtain a winning position. This misses an opportunity to capture a free bishop. It is a miss. This loses a bishop. This missed a move that would have produced a winning advantage. This ignores an opportunity to move a bishop to safety. It is a blunder. This loses a pawn. This missed a move that would have produced a winning position. This overlooks an opportunity to capture a free bishop. This is the start of the end game and black is losing. It is a miss. This gives away a free pawn. This misses a chance to obtain a winning position. This misses an opportunity to win a pawn. It is a blunder. This is a missed chance to claim a free pawn. That falls flat. Thus, a forced checkmate is possible. It is a mistake. The rook was a freebie. It is ideal. This moves away from the queen of checking. It's compelled. That pawn was available for free. That's good. This protects a bishop who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. Though not the best move technically, it was interesting. It is quite good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is quite good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. That's good. This is winning stuff. That's good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. That bishop was open for business. It is ideal. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. Wild a chaotic game where both players had many chances to win. That game was pretty competitive. 
the opening was balanced. Both players threw away some big opportunities in the middle game. This leaves a queen without defenders. This permits the opponent to capture the checking queen. It is a miss wild a chaotic game where both players had many chances to win. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players threw away some big opportunities in the middle game.